yeah hi hello everyone so today we'll see how we can use openai's uh, whisper model uh, to generate text from audio uh, i will show a demo of the project and later go over the project code and i'll share the github repo uh, in the description of the video uh, for your reference so in this i have an audio file uh, this is the project as you can see on the screen so uh, we'll just upload a file and an audio file and i'll click on upload and uh, in the back end we'll send the audio to the uh, whisper whisper uh, open eyes uh, model whisper uh, there is uh, i'll show how we're doing it and once we get the transcript we'll display it here so what if i click on it uh, on the choose file this is an mp3 file that i have now if i click on upload so i'm uploading the file and then i'm sending it to open ai so, so here, here you can see we got the response now if i just quickly play that audio hello and welcome i'm adam see. and i have some fantastic weather news for you today it's a beautiful day outside, and the sun is shining brightly. There are no clouds in sight, which means that we can expect plenty of sunshine all day long. It's the kind of... So this, you can see this uh, has, uh, we have the correct transcript for the audio. I'll quickly go over the code. Uh, I have already written the code. So uh, this project is built uh, in Next.js, and we are using Tailwind for styling. Uh, but that's okay, we'll, I'll just go over the uh, components, and then the API route. So over here, uh, just the header, the content, and in the intro, that is the intro is... Uh, this small uh, text one line text then we have uh, the file upload component and the transcript so once we upload the file i am setting uh, the transcript and that transcript we are showing it here and if there is no transcript we have an order to display uh, div and in the file upload uh, component uh, if i go to the html part so you can see i have a label uh, for file upload file and then i have input of type file where i have a function file handle file change and there is a button for upload so handle upload click so there are two functions in this uh, component so one is the handle uh, file change so whenever we uh, choose a file so uh, at that time i am doing a small check uh, whether the file is of these formats or not uh, because uh, the whisper model will accept only these formats <clears throat> no other format uh, it accepts will get some error so if the file is this of this format then uh we i mean it will not give an error and uh, once we click on the upload uh, so we are make we are first creating a form data object and then we are adding a file uh, in the form data and then we are making a post call to the api slash process endpoint that we have created and then once we get a success response we are setting the transcript and we are showing a toast this is react hot toast and uh, now i'll go over the uh, process api route so in here once we get the response, once we get the file, we'll check whether this is a post call or not. And over here, you can see that I'm uh, I'm not I'll not be using OpenAI NPM package. Uh, the reason for that is, is that uh, for uh, uh, creating uh, transcriptions, there were some issues that I found, and I see some open issues as well. So instead of OpenAI uh, NPM package, we'll be directly making an API call to the uh, OpenAI's endpoint. So this is the OpenAI's endpoint uh, for the Whisper URL. So for the audio transcriptions. So once coming back to the API route, uh, so the first step is we are checking for the post methods. Then we will, we'll, uh, because it's a form data that is being sent. So we are using formidable to extract the file out of the form data. Now another problem that I faced while uh, uh, trying to create this demo was uh, there was no way for me to uh, directly generate the transcript without saving it uh, locally. So. I did not want to save the file locally. I mean, whenever we upload a file, it goes into memory. And I, I just directly wanted to create a read stream from the uh, from the file in memory, but uh, that could not work. Uh, there's there's some checks that uh, OpenAI does, so uh, that is why the, uh, it was failing. So I have to save it locally. So over here you can see uh, I'm using formidable. And uh, before parsing the form, I am on form.on like once the file begins so uh, it is instead of saving the file in the memory i'm directly saving it in my files directory inside the project and the, with the file name and then i am uh, parsing the form and extracting the file and then we are checking if the file has name path type and everything and then again uh, once everything is fine then we have to again send uh, a post api to whisper model uh, to the url we just saw so to do that we have to create a form data in the backend now 
this form data is available readily available in on the browsers but because this is the back end so we will have to uh, install a uh, npm package which is form hyphen data and uh, yeah using that we can create a form uh, data and then in that we have to give the file model these two are required fields maybe i can just go over the uh, documentation so in here this is the open ai's uh, documentation for whisper model so here you can see this is the api for transcriptions that we will be sending the request to and because it accepts post method so we have to build a body so in the body we can have file and model which is required then we can also have a prompt but it's just for guiding the uh, model then the response format in what response in what format do you want it's default to json but you can have it in uh, these many formats uh, similarly the file that we can upload to whisper model is mp3 mp4 so lots of formats temperature defaults to zero but it, we can um, change it from zero to one between zero to one then the language normally we don't have to give the language uh, because the model will auto detect uh, what language is it but if uh, if you're not getting the correct results then you can give uh, sometimes if there are multiple languages in the audio so there could be some kind of a confusion so you can give uh, the language when you send the post call so over here you can say i'm giving the file and the model is whisper hyphen one and then the language and over here you can see uh, we have to create a read stream of the file path and then we'll make a post call with form data and then again in the authorization we have to give the openai api key uh, which i have kept in the environment.env file in here and uh, the content type has to be multi-part form data but this is something uh, extra one more extra we have to data we have to send is boundary uh, when we are sending a multi-part form data from the browser uh, this is automatically added by the browser but because we are making this call from the uh, backend so we have to add it otherwise our request may fail and then once we have the response success response back so we are because the response that we'll get uh, because it defaults to uh, json so we'll get a response like this uh, sorry like this this is the response where we will have uh, the text from where we have to extract the data so you can see i am parsing the json and then i am getting the text out of the response but before sending the response i don't want to keep the file in my server because it will unnecessarily uh, eat up the memory uh, or the space so that is why i am deleting the file using fs.unlink and i'm giving that path and i'm giving a callback function just to uh, print it and if there is an exception so of course we can give an error message and uh, that one last thing uh, when we give the language so we have to follow one of this format this is iso 639 so i have already opened it uh, over here you can see whatever language that uh, you want to create a transcription so you can give so i over here the audio that i had was uh, e in english so this is the code that i gave so you can give uh, whatever code uh, audio you have and uh, one last thing we uh, with this uh, model we can even create translations so uh, but the thing is it will always translate to uh, english so if you have an audio of some other language so we can send a similar post call to translations api because uh, with our current in our current project we are sending to transcriptions but uh, if you want to create a translation we can give uh, you can send the uh, request to translations api with the audio and it will return the text in english for the audio so this is all for the demo for the project and I will be sharing the project uh, report in the descriptions. Thank you.